likes are amazing. It's my first one so please be kind. So I decided to do a bit of a vlog just to talk you through the things that I've been sewing, the things I've been liking, that sort of thing. Um, so um, welcome to my sewing room. Um, I will do a bit of a tour um, at a later stage uh, but today I wanted to talk to you about the Minetta party that's happening over on Instagram at the moment. Um, the Minetta dress pattern is a pattern by Colette Patterns, um, who are based in the States. Um, it's a jersey knit dress, um, really, really flattering uh, for all kinds of figures. Um, so I made my first one uh, probably about three years ago, and it was really my first adventure in kind of sewing with knit fabrics rather than woven fa fabrics. Um, I think I'd always been a little bit scared of them. Um, you know, you kind of hear hear things about the, how difficult they are to manage, that sort of thing. Um, so I, what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd talk you through the uh, different minettas that I've made over the years. Um, so the first one I made was... Um, I actually made it in a Pontarome, Pontaroma, um, so I made it in this beautiful sort of jade colour, uh, quite a simple, um, just, a, just a very sort of simple plain design. Um, I chose the um, three quarter length sleeves, which actually I've done the three quarter length sleeves for all of the manettas I've made. Um, it's just quite a good sleeve length on me, I tend to get cold. So. <laughs> No other reason apart from that. And I actually think the shorter sleeve length like this looks a bit more flattering than if it were to be a longer sleeve length. And pockets, who doesn't love pockets? Um, so, as I said, it's quite a simple um, but flattering design. Um, it's got a lovely slightly scooped back. Um, you know, as I said, this was my first uh, attempt at sewing with knits and yes there were mistakes along the way pretty much it's a simple construction apart from when you get to the waistband um, and you have to shear elastic to get this um, gathered waistband of the skirt and when I first tried it on this I just actually to be fair the instructions could have been a little bit clearer um, but I just I, I just was having a real hard time getting the elastic to stretch because it had to stretch so far. Um, so what I thought was, oh okay, well I'll try it on my overlocker. So I just got a new overlocker and uh, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll give it a go on that and see if that works because I was having no luck with the sewing machine. And I hacked into about, oh, it was about um, a centimetre or so down, the, the fabric was cut into, no elastic was attached, it was just a disaster and I nearly threw in the towel actually, I nearly just you know, called the whole thing off uh, but actually after a sit down and a cup of tea I thought well actually if I take off um, a centimetre from around the top of the skirt uh, I can then just hem it slightly narrower um, and things will be fine I'm sure. Did that, looked at a, a couple of YouTube tutorials um, and got what I needed to do, which actually, as you're sewing the elastic, you need to hold behind your uh, sewing machine foot as you sew and really pull that elastic through. That's the key to getting it um, to attach properly and to feed through the machine. So it's a little bit tricky, but it is doable. Um, and still now, it's my least favorite task of the Minetta dress is doing that elastic it, I think I just have a bit of a muscle memory thing where <laughs> I, uh, yeah, where I just, you know, I just don't want to do that again. It's my least favourite task. So that's my jade green one, first one. So my second dress was in this beautiful dove grey sort of. It's a pale blue grey kind of, uh, quite a fine jersey. Um, I bought this from Guthrie and Garney. The um, Birmingham based store but they've got an online store as well. It's really really soft, lovely quality fabric um, and didn't make any changes apart from just didn't mess up the waistband. 
um, but here we are and again it's got the pockets that I love um, really really lovely and flattering I mean I wear these dresses to work all the time and um, they look lovely with heels or just with little flats um, and the only thing I would say actually I found with this one it was a bit clingy especially if I was wearing tights so to remedy that I made myself um, I just drafted a little slip pattern just a little half slip which you can see here really beautiful um, just a silky kind of material and I just hemmed it with um, with just a little lace trim and then it's just got um, just elastic in the top and it's perfect actually under all of my minettas and I wear it under quite a lot of things actually um, really good if you've got sort of quite a light um, cotton lawn or something like that and it's maybe a little bit see-through as well so perfect for kind of stopping cling but also just making things a little bit more opaque and then the third minetta dress that I made was this beauty so this fabric was from so over it in London um, I bought it online it was um, it was kind of a bit of an impulse buy I wasn't sure whether I was you know whether it was going to be nice or not anyway it arrived and I absolutely loved it what I love about the Manessa pattern is that there's no darts there's kind of wide expanses of space so you can really show off a beautiful pattern like this so it's got these beautiful um, floral designs and it's just lovely so I like to wear this um, so I wear this sort of dress to um, work um, if I've got a job interview ever, I'll always stick on a Minetta dress. It's kind of really smart, but it, you know, you feel comfortable in it. Um, but yeah, this jersey is really soft. It was lovely to work with actually. Again, pockets. Um, all of my Minetta's got pockets. In fact, if you ever see me in a dress without pockets, then that's, uh, I've probably been um, overtaken by aliens. Um, but yeah, all of my Minetta's have got pockets. Absolutely love the pockets. And then more recently I decided to make a couple of velvet minettas. Um, I've been working with a lot of stretch velvet lately. Um, I came across this beautiful um, burgundy colour velvet and I thought actually a minetta party dress, that sounds right. When I heard about the minetta party I, I thought actually a red velvet party dress, why not? Um, I do love it. I think there's a slight flaw in the um, jersey which I actually didn't notice until right at the end when I tried it on because you can't really tell because of the light but there's a slight flaw in this jersey I haven't washed it yet so I need to see if that kind of comes out in the wash but do you know what it's fine the light just kind of catches it as, as we go so yeah love that one um, again pockets pockets um, and I with all of my minettas um, they're all overlocked on the inside, which you can see. Then my next Minetta is this beautiful Midnight Blue. It's the same fabric as the Burgundy, um, just in a different colourway. And again, exactly the same, exactly the same construction. It's, I think the fit of the dress is so flattering. I don't need to make any adjustments to it. Um, I'm really lucky that actually it does fit me out of the packet. So that's this one. And then the final Minetta is actually what I'm wearing today. So I made this today as part of the Minetta party. I was joined today by the lovely Amelia. I'll pop her details below. Um, so we decided that because sewing is quite a solitary um, sport, if you will, um, that why not get together and sew together? And you know what? It was really, really lovely. We had a lovely day. We had afternoon tea um, and just got on and sewed. <laughs> We did a bit of time lapse, so you'll see that as well. Um, I'll insert some clips of that. Um, but yeah, it was it was a really lovely day, really social, um, and we listened to eighties music, egg cake. You know all the lovely things um so this was what i made today 
so it's this lovely leaf print it's um a polyester jersey um from um from fabric land actually in bristol um so once i can get a nicer picture i'll pop that up on instagram um it's just been a bit dark and stormy to take pictures outside today um but this is kind of autumnal leaves so i think the biggest compliment i can pay this dress is that it feels like it's been in my wardrobe forever um it it's beautifully it's really comfortable um, I love the pattern on it and I think the blush pinks really really pretty um, so yeah really really pleased with this one and glad to add it to um, my handmade wardrobe which I don't know if you can see behind me um, that's all there anyway thank you for joining me today um, I hope to be posting a lot more um, videos and content um, over the next coming weeks um, so please um, like the video and subscribe if you want to see more from me um, and I'd love to hear any comments you've got um, and hear about any Minetta dresses that you've made and if you did anything um, for the Minetta party this week um, so anyway it was lovely to chat to you all and um, I hope to speak to you soon thank you bye bye <music>